good day beautiful people <laughs> wherever you are in the world it's a beautiful 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 day once again and i am back here and today <laughs> i am indoors so i welcome you to the divine truth where we bring out the truth in any concept so today we are going to be speaking about the power of success we're going to be speaking about the details of the life of success. So, Aasha has been having this problem for so long. He has been in this problem for so long that he wanted to be successful, but he thinks that success is all about doing 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 all the time and he thinks that your schedule is always so tight that you don't have any time to breathe and somehow it brought fear to him because Aasha wanted to be successful but he also wanted to have his time so not that long ago, he started to experience these experiences of having his own time. And then he started to realize that he himself, he can't even stay by himself alone. <laughs> and that's when he started to realize that there is more to success than being in the eyes of society. Because Aasha, when he thinks of success, he always thought of fame. That was what he always wanted. Famous. So he thought being famous, it means you are always on cameras. You are always busy. There's no time to sleep. And that gave him a lot of fear. But also, Aasha can stay by himself. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with him? Now, success is not what we think it is. It's not what even Aasha think it is. Because Aasha thinks success is all about going places, traveling and doing things. But that's not what success is. And he started to realize that today, actually yesterday, he started to realize that yesterday, now he started applying it even yesterday and now he's realizing it more Aasha started to realize that if one person or if a being can be content and joyful when they are alone with nobody then they are already successful and to him it came as a shock because he started to ask himself questions like I thought success is all about doing, doing, doing God. Then why is it like this? And that is when he started to realize that we can only get ideas. Human beings can only get ideas when they are in stillness. Because in stillness, that's where beautiful ideas comes from. Truth be told, nobody wants to be still that's why everything in this world is all about doing social media tv going out parties events non-stop of doing and Aasha realized that in his journey that most of the time he always wanted to be busy if he was not working he wanted to be in nature if he's not in nature he wanted to, to be on his phone, if not on his phone, with his friend. So always wanting to be around people. That's why Aasha was so obsessed with likes, with recognition. He wanted to be recognized of his like and everything. That's only because Aasha didn't recognize his true nature. And 
when one being does not recognize their nature, they want approval from others. They live their life for others. Asha used to live like this. He used to be somebody else when he's at home. And he also used to be somebody else when he's in public. He had to keep up with the images, the personas nonstop. And that brought Asha too much depression that he couldn't bear it anymore. <laughs> but as he, as, he awoke, as he awoke to this journey, he started to realize that being content, blissful and joyful when you are alone is the most amazing thing ever because ideas come flowing like water. And truly speaking, Aasha has only got revelation and has got spiritual awakenings and spiritual insights and intuition when he was still, not when he was busy. Because when a human being is busy, it simply means that they are not present. And the only divine thing that I made to meet with Aasha, the, the divine path that I made to, to meet with Aasha has always been here now in the present moment. Then when he is in the present moment, then he can meet the divine. So that's when he realized that the most beautiful and amazing thing that he could ever do for himself is just to be present and just to be still and be content and joyful when he is alone. Because when one is content and joyful in the absence of what they want, then they've already got it. This has been the statement that Asha has been using so many times. He's been saying that, I am, I am so joyful in the absence of it, but he had to apply it. And the application of it, it may not be pleasant for human nature, because there's embarrassment aligned. There's consistency with no recognition. Because Aasha lately has been having so many challenges. He started questioning God so many times. And he asked God and said, God, I am always doing what pleases you. I'm always creating from presence. Why is my subscribers... Why is my, 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 my subscribers subscri unsubscribing from me? Why is my Instagram followers unfollowing me? Why? 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 That was when Aasha got the answer. That when you are in the absence of what you want, that's when you start to realize what is true and what is not true. That is the preparation of God preparation of the divine for what you want in order to be pure and joy and praise him because we've asked it from him it has to be pure when it arrives unless you take a detour many people take a detour like Aasha used to do he used to take detours trying to do shortcuts trying to manipulate trying to to get what he wants out of force but all it left him is suffering nothing else so he started to take the divine path that's when he realized that in the absence of what he wants, everything that is not that is not his start to disappear, start to dissipate from him. Then he start to change his vibration to meet the divine vibration. Then when he does that, what he wants appears. With that being said, beautiful people, from me, Asha, I say it's a beautiful, beautiful 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 day once again till we meet in the next video peace